Hello everyone, welcome again. So in the previous section we have seen that uh, what are the various types of data that can be generated by any IoT device, right? So now in this lecture we will learn that how to store that different type of data on cloud or the technique that is used to store that data on cloud storage, right? So first of all we will summarize some things now. Uh, so as you know that the data can be generated from various sources in IoT device, right? So the IoT device can generate that data from the various different sources as well as that data can persist at different destinations, right? So that data collected from the IoT devices can persist at different lo at different locations or destinations. Now how is it possible? As we know, the IoT data can be collected in various format as there are many sensors or uh, various different type of sensor that can generate or that can collect various type of data. So obviously that data will be connected at the local resource, right? The particular sensor that will collect that data and will store at its particular location, right? It means what? The data will be, the whole data collected by that particular IoT device can be pers or can persist at different various locations within that IoT device, right? So that data can be of various types that the structured data, right? If it is the structured data, then that structured data can be stored in the format of SQL, MySQL or Oracle, right? Or PostgreSQL or uh, SQL Server. These are the various type of databases that can be used to store the structured data, right? If the data is in the form of unstructured format, right? So that unstructured type of data can be stored uh, by using Google Cloud or can be stored by using Amazon S3, right? This, so these are the two types of uh, database storage that can be used to store the unstructured data. The third type of data that can be generated by any un, uh, by any IoT devices, semi-structured data. Then the semi-structured data can be stored by using MongoDB, DynamoDB, or uh, Cassandra, Google Cloud, or Bigtable. These are the various types of databases that can be used to store the semi-structured data, right? So as the various sensors can collect the data in various formats, so according to that particular sensor or according to that particular design of the sensor, various type of databases or various type of format or uh, some technique is used by that particular sensor to store the data, right? At that local right, or uh, at that location right so locally that data can be stored by any sensor at uh, in particular format if the data means according to the particular format of that particular data right now uh, the most uh, important thing that if a particular device collects or if a particular IT device collects the data in various formats means if the same device uh, collect the data in format of structured data or uh, as well as unstructured data as well as semi-structured data now how to summarize this whole data at a single place how to summarize or how to store this whole data means all these three format of data should be stored at a single location means if anyone want to retrieve that data from the database then he can retrieve the data as a, in the format of structured data as well as in format of unstructured data as well as in the format of semi-structured data that's why it is needed it is much needed to store all this format of data as a single location right so uh, uh, there is a particular method or there is a particular uh, technique which is used to store such type of data as a single at single uh, location within uh, a local server as well as on a, a cloud and that particular technique is known as DSP. It is known as a DSP. Now, DSP is nothing but uh, DSP is nothing but is known as a data factory. Uh, sorry, Dream Factory Service Platform. It is known as a Dream Factory Service Platform. Dream Factory Service Platform. So DSP is actually used to store such so to summarize all these type of data and to store that data at a centralized location. Now how this Dream Factory platform uh, works, right? So or why this Dream Factory is necessary first of all? What is the use of that Dream Factory? Why to use DSP Dream Dream Factory service platform? Why to use this DSP? Uh, because DSP, this platform is very much needed and it is very much a smooth that automatically generates the multiple API 
it can automatically generate the multiple API according to the input data in the device, right? So it will generate the multiple API to store that particular type of data at a particular location, right? Uh, it automatically generates the JDBC and ODPC type of connection to store that data uh, at a particular location within that device, means centralized location within that device, right? So it generates the API that is required to store, uh, that is required to form the JDBC and ODBC connection within that device, right? It gives a unified and universal data access layer to deal with all the type of data, right? So, DSP, it can generate multiple APIs, it can generate multiple APIs required to centralize the data, means according to data, if the data is in the form of uh, structured data, then it will generate the API accordingly, if the data is in the form of unstructured data then it will generate the API for the API to uh, store the unstructured data accordingly and if the data is in the form of a semi-structured format then it will generate the API required to uh, store the semi-structured uh, semi data in a particular or uh, uh, at a particular centralized uh, dat local database right so so DSP is the most important uh, DSP platform is the most important platform which is used by uh, API devices to store or to collect the data from the various sensors or to collect the data within the uh, IoT device uh, within the IoT device and store that data centralizedly at a location within that IoT device means locally on the IoT device right now how it works so for example suppose this is a IoT device right this IoT device is consisting of uh, three sensors this is sensor number one this is sensor number two and this is sensor number three right so these sensors can be uh, a, uh, means these all the sensors can be different right uh, so all different type of sensor or many type of sensors can be there we have using only three sensors right whatever it may be right then there is a CPU or there is a controlling unit so for example this is an IoT device or it is a microcontroller right which which have provided a network connectivity right so this microcontroller device can be used through your mobiles or that can be used with the PC or any other device that can be that is connected within that network set right? right so this is the device which will access the data through this or uh, which will access the data uh, by this IoT device right or it will provide the command to the IoT device and then IoT device will uh, reply to the particular uh, device uh, to the particular commanding device uh, right so now this device will collect all the information or this device will uh, take all the information through this, uh, through this IoT device and will uh, will be provided to the device DSP right so all this information will be provided to DSP and now the working of DSP start here now DSP will generate the multiple APIs it will generate the multiple APIs according to the type of the data that has been collected from the different type of uh, sensors and then will store the data on the local database right will store the data on the local database this database can be in various format right means it could be as uh, it could be in the form of uh, SQL MySQL or it could be a database in the format Google Cloud Fetch or deep tables right to store the semi structured data as well as it could be in the format of unstructured data means it will be the correct uh, it will be the combination of all the type of or this, this data will be app uh, eligible to store any type of data right so this data dsp will store the whole data collected from the sensors to a local database in the system right so it uh